guys welcome to my channel my name is Trisha and today I'll be talking about c-section recovery and the things that you need to know for a safer faster c-section postpartum experience today I have with me the little man Cairo say hello Kai a couple months back I had a emergency c-section and guys it was one of the most scariest periods in my life I did not know anything about c-section I had had a baby before and it was all natural no medication no epidural and I must say I've been experienced um, both ends I've been a vaginal both a vaginal birth and a c-section birth the c-section recovery was much more taxing on my body than having a vaginal delivery so guys I want to say congrats to all those mothers out there who had a c-section because people tend to want to 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 see that c-section birth is no birth at all so these are some of the things that I wish I knew before I had a c-section <laughs> guys I wish I knew that I should take it easy I wish I knew that the pain would be I would say unbearable so it was not easy to move to and fro from the bed I had, had a vaginal delivery before and I had no problem in that regard but with the c-section I had, had to ask my husband on numerous occasions for help to help me to push me out of the bed right so guys don't be afraid to ask your husband your partner whomever for assistance guys you should take it easy for the wound to heal faster for you to have a smooth um a smooth recovery also guys you should also ensure that the incision is clean you should also ensure that it's well taken care of so you should be checking on that incision incision to ensure that it's not oozing blood or it's not oozing pus and that it's still intact you should also listen to the advice of your doctor if your doctor advises that you should not wet the, your incision for a couple of days ensure that it's not wet I personally my doctor had advised me that I should should not wait for a week but you know that your girl have to keep clean and she have to tidy so what I did I got a bath pan and I wiped and tidied my entire body except for the, the incisional wound so guys you should keep the hair dry and away from water another thing that I wish I knew before I had the c-session the c-section is that my tummy might feel a little numb and that it might feel tender so guys don't be alarmed if you're touching your belly and you're not feeling it remember guys you've gone through a major surgery you were cut open some of your organs were pulled out and I didn't know that until after the c-section and some of your organs were also shipped my doctor advised that it may last up to a, a year but thanks me to God I'm seven months postpartum and I'm feeling my tummy right now another thing that I wish I knew as well um, for a c-section you you cannot exercise right no hard exercising you should not be walk running briskly or any lifting weights or anything of the the sort you should take it slow guys you may do your pelvic floor exercises though when you reach the six weeks mark the doctor may clear you for light exercises so that's what i i wish i knew because with my baby girl you know i was able to to do anything under the sun before the six weeks because i felt so normal within my body but if you had had a c-section even if you feel normal guys right like you are able to lift and pull anything you should not do it so that's one other thing i wish i knew before having a c-section that i would not be able to do certain things
another thing that I wish I knew as well is that sex may feel a little different and it is totally normal for the first for the first couple of times that you got, that you have sex it might be a little weird guys but it will get better and it's totally normal so don't be alarmed guys also c-section might cause you to feel a little baby blues I would attribute it to baby blues some of you guys might feel a little depressed remember you know you can't do anything for yourself you are totally um, reliant on the head of your husband or your your spouse or your 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 friend right so you might feel a little baby blue but it will pass remember you have that beautiful bundle of joy so don't feel don't feel saddened by the fact that you're not able to move the way that you want to move and another thing that i wish i knew as well is me develop some allergic reaction to the medication remember guys I've not I wasn't given any med medication during my first pregnancy as such I did not know that I would become swollen yes guys I was swollen with this um, after this pregnancy all the different all the epidural and the medication and the fluids that they had injected in my body caused me to be swollen I was swollen for days I did not look like myself and I was, this was swollen and I will insert a picture for you to have an idea of what I'm talking about so guys I wish I knew beforehand that the medication might cause me to be swollen more so you guys might be itchy I was itchy for three days guys the medication I thought that the itching would never stop but thanks be to God it, it stops so don't be alarmed or frightened just advise your doctor or your care provider and they might provide you with something that might ease the, the discomfort guys I've mentioned a lot um, I've mentioned that you might be swollen I mentioned that you might um, feel useless because you have to rest a lot I also mentioned that you might be a little bit scratchy or itchy so guys all of this all of these feelings might come with a little baby blues or a little depression so don't be alarmed as if it is that you are feeling you know just totally out of it you have just given birth to a life as such you know all of these emotions all of your hormones will probably be a little bit out of whack so don't be alarmed guys if you think that it's too much though um, you can always speak to your your doctor and they can help you by giving you the appropriate medications to eat well rest and take it easy.